Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 18th of 2020. Well, it is titled ARP 78 peculiar galaxy in Aries. Well, this is what is this? Um, so this is a, a galaxy as cataloged ARP 78 from the catalog of peculiar galaxies uh, done by astronomer Halton Arp uh, many years ago. And he looked at galaxies that looked unusual that didn't look like standard spirals or elliptical galaxies but were distorted. And you can see this one has all sorts of streamers trailing out and if you look fainter around you can see other material stretching up. Now, what we find is that many of these peculiar galaxies are actually related to gravitational interactions with other galaxies. So other galaxies, whether small or similar in size, can interact with the galaxy and they distort its shape. So when a gra when, when an object passes near another galaxy, the gravitational fields can distort the material around it. So just as a rock thrown into a pond will distort the shape of the smooth shape of the water, a galaxy passing by or through another galaxy will distort the the stars and the gas of that galaxy and cause it to spread out and stretch out over space. One of the other things it does is to enhance the star formation and you can see that here the galaxy overall is actually a yellow or red but you can see a couple of the streamers look very blue especially the one going right across the bottom and up towards the upper left side and that's very blue that means very enhanced star formation because the blue light comes from stars that only live for a very short period of time so in order to see that much blue light, these stars must have formed within the last couple of million years, again, giving evidence of the uh, collisions that occur and the intergravitational gravitational interactions that cause gas clouds clouds in the galaxy to compress and then to form new stars. So we begin to see new stars here as well. Now we can also see a large number of other galaxies in this image and in fact uh, most many of the objects that you see here are other galaxies we can distinguish the stars in the galaxies by the fact that the stars are points of light which means that when their light passes through the telescope they give a distinct spiked diffraction pattern that we see around them. And you can see one prominent one towards the right hand side here. Uh, but there are others if you take a look around, you can look for some with a little bit fainter diffraction patterns as well. And those are stars within our Milky Way that just happen to be in the same general direction as this galaxy. Many of the other objects fuzzier objects are actually other galaxies that could be well beyond this galaxy which is nearby at only about about 100 million light years away. So that was our picture of the day for September the 18th of 2020. It was titled ARP 78 Peculiar Galaxy in Aries. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be 3D Orion. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.